Oi people, let me tell you an incredible story from a war that shattered the reputation of the American war machine. A true story about a tryhard soldier and of course weed, because probably that's why you clicked on this video. Please grab a beer, sit back and listen. First of all, it's not clickbait. I didn't make up this stuff, it actually happened. In the year of 1970, in Vietnam, Tainan province, near the Cambodian border, in a battle that nobody really remembers, for a fire base called Ingworth. But let's not jump straight into it, shall we? Instead, let me give you some historical overview. War in Vietnam wasn't a new thing for anyone living there when the United States stepped in. Several conflicts already scarred the beautiful country in Indochina. Oppressors came and went, like the French who colonized the country decades before, and then they got their ass kicked at the MBM Fu in 1954. After that, the Communist North and the Capitalist South continued the war with altering violence. And that's when Uncle Sam joined the party, trying to win a pointless war against the way more battle-hardened and patriotic North Vietnam. So, the US command already had a big obstacle in front of them. Defeating the Viet Cong, of course. But after a while, something else has risen from the heaps of troubles. Drugs. Drug abuse in a war zone isn't surprising for anyone who read the news at least once. And the Vietnam War was no exception. Drugs are so commonplace among the troops that, in 1970, the spokesman of Bureau and Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs told President Richard Nixon, you don't have a drug problem in Vietnam, you have a condition. Problems are things we can get right on and solve. And so, the main drug used by American soldiers was of course, weed. In 1971, 51% of the personnel admitted that they smoked marijuana. And so did Sergeant Peter Lemon, the main actor in our story. And after all, he and his squad just came back from a long recon patrol on the evening of 1970, March the 31. And they just wanted to ease things up a little. Of course, they didn't really expect anything what would happen in a few hours. Shitstorm, mainly. His firebase was located near the Ho Chi Minh Trail, admittedly a bait for North Vietnamese soldiers. There were many firebases like it, as it was a common tactic to draw out masses of enemy troops, unfortunately for stoners at firebase in Ingworth. At 2 am, the enemy struck in full force. 400 NVA troops swarmed the 220 Americans and the US troops lacked the critical piece to their firebase tactics, air support. The NVA destroyed the base communications and rain mortars and artillery on the sleepy Americans. In a 1971 article in the New York Times, Lemon recalled, all the guys were heads. We would sit around smoking grass and getting stoned and talking about when we would get to go home. And he also claimed, it was the only time I ever went into combat stoned. We were all partying the night before, we weren't expecting any action because we were in a support group. Yeah, so he may be in high as fuck, but who cares, he still fought like no one else that day. Because when he heard the incoming fire, he jumped out of his rack and manned the heavy machine gun until it couldn't fire anymore. He did the same with his rifle both weapons malfunctioned. When those no longer worked, he switched to tossing grenades at the oncoming enemy, and the enemy returned with a grenade of their own, injuring Lemon. He managed to take down all but one attacker, and as soon as the communist soldier reached his position, Lemon dispatched him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But fate is a major fucker, because the day before, Illingworth received 40 tons 8 inch artillery shells, 40 tons, and they couldn't really use it. So the ammo was dumped in the middle of the base, 
and as soon as Lemon killed his attacker, the shells all detonated. The blast knocked Lemon to the ground and tore apart anyone near it. Still, he managed to pick himself up, take a body to the aid station and grab more grenades. He was shot by incoming MVA bullets, but incredibly he pressed on. Then realizing the base is about to be overrun, he charged the incoming enemy waves, tossing grenades left and right and knocking them down with his bare fists, completely rooting the enemy. He then retook another machine gun and fired into the MVA troops, while standing fully in the open, until he passed out. If all of that wasn't enough, he refused medical evacuation until his more seriously wounded friends took off first. For his actions that day, he was awarded with the Medal of Honor. He became one of the youngest ever recipients at just 20 years old. Residents who knew Mr. Lemon before the war described him as a sort of devil may care, high spirited, mischievous high school pupil who would do almost anything on a dare. Friends now say he has become a contemplative, thoughtful man.